Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. You guys ready to do this? Let's go. Hey my peeps, it's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay in chill for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs it up, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have fun and do this keto bong. <laughs> Half keto bong. Half keto way. bong. His is it. Mine is. Guys, today we have right. some um, chicken wings. And I have a... Little chicken wings here. And I have a cheesy, like cheese, cheesy bread made of cheese, Parmesan cheese, more cheese, and jalapenos. And then I have a buttery cheesy sauce here. Um, garlic. Not cheese. Garlic sauce. And for me, what I did was just slice some bread. Do some cheese on top with some jalapenos, with some bow cheese. I know she can't have bread, so. But I'm good. Yeah, you good. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I'm going to make you do. Plus, I got my little carrots to the side. So. Okay, let's say grace really quick. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you, dear Father, for the food you have given us. In Jesus' name, I am truly thankful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You guys, y'all may sound here that we sound really bad. Um, I do have a fan on me because... I have been sick. I think we have the flu. Had the flu. I don't think the flu. Wow. Well, look, stuffy. I mean, I'm all, I probably sound funny because I'm all stuffy, but I don't think it's the flu. Even though it, it is going around. Anyway, we have been so sick, so if we sound funny, y'all just deal with it. But yes, I do have my fan on me because I am hot and it's cold outside. All right, guys, we're fixing to dig in and make it do what it do. Did you say prayer or did you say you were going to say it? I said prayer. Oh, my mind gone, y'all. I'm pretty sure I said prayer. I did. And, of course, I have some good old H2O over here, y'all. I love ice. I love got my normal that. juicy juice. I see y'all looking at my nails in the uh, camera. Y'all look at my nails. They look a hot mess, but it's okay. It's okay. I like your little bird thing you did. I know. Very creative. Very. No, actually, I saw it. I did it before. I hope it tastes as good in my mouth as it did in my mind. Mm. You um, were talking about the drama and stuff on YouTube, but mm. I'm not a drama person. He doesn't even watch what's going on, y'all. Uh, I said you don't even watch. No, I don't watch drama. Why? Well, not even in the open community. Yeah. It's all good though. I mean, it's gonna fade away. I just wish people would just move on. <clears throat> There's more drama you don't even know about. Yeah. yeah Stemming from that. I don't even care to know about it. Mm -mm. I know. I ain't bring anything to put this on. Uh, it's pretty, that shit is pretty good. Uh, this chicken is delicious. Just bring a little salt and pepper on it though. I did mine. Mm, like that. I just overcooked the wings, but they're actually good. That would taste overcooked to me. Hmm. Maybe not overcooked, but. Yeah, I don't know what what this is that she put back on my plate. Because <laughs> he had on my plate, y'all. What the crap? It's supposed to be a wing. I mean a leg, but. Mmm. Oh, good. I don't know if y'all can see it. This one doesn't have a jalapeno on it. This one just has just cheese. It's an egg. Nose look all red. Hmm? I'm saying my nose all red. Is it? Mmm. No. Mm, that's straight cheese. Um, different. Well, it's Parmesan cheese, mild cheddar, and um, mozzarella cheese. Next time, I'll just do it with the uh, mozzarella cheese. 
so what's happening out there with you guys? What are y'all eating? Are y'all eating with us? I hope everyone's doing great, sticking to their New Year resolutions. Speaking of which, I have started doing keto, and I'm doing awesome on it. I'm going to do a weigh-in, um, maybe tomorrow. For some of you that didn't know, because I didn't want to say it first, but when I started, I was 296.6. I didn't video it, but I did get on the scale. He was right there with me. No. Unfortunately, I was 296.6. Like I said, I cried, I laughed, I cried, and I cried some more. Yeah. Well, that's good. We'll see what the weigh-in looks like tomorrow. I do have to say I feel better. <clears throat> Getting up and down. My oh, yeah. knees aren't killing me. It's too little hard for her to do the keto because I don't do keto. I don't need to do keto. So yeah, I try not to eat in front of her. But it's okay. Um, I'm past that little hard stage. <laughs> but what helps too? And this is an ideal. But what helps too is. If I'm doing a mukbang and he's not, and he goes in there and he eats, and then I eat whatever I'm eating on here. But I know y'all like seeing him on here. I like having him on here with me. And so we're just going to work it out in the middle. You want to try one? Mm -hmm. Not a big cheese there. Mm -hmm. I look like straight cheese. It is. I don't like cheese. I'm just not that big of a cheese either. It is straight cheese. But it's straight in. And I like it. I'll probably go with some marinara sauce. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you can have marinara sauce. I can make my own. I made, well, I bought some to do uh, pizza. I'm making a pizza. Yeah, I'll probably eat that with. I, I would need a dip with some marinara sauce with, or something. With cauliflower. And I may make this again. I'm going to do pizza tomorrow. No. I think the pizza will be enough. But, yeah, I bought some um, keto marinara, but I have some stuff that I can make my own. What it tastes like? Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I mean, I eat marinara. I don't know if I eat keto marinara. Why not? Because you're gonna have different tastes. Well. I've tasted the good stuff for about a year and a half, and this is where it got me, so. And also, I'm trying this thing. When I get hungry, y'all don't laugh. I tell myself, food is fuel. Food is for energy. It's not for pleasure. <laughs> That's a lie. But, it helps. Cause I just eat to sustain, you know, just to keep going. Right, yesterday, before we, we left the house, and you said you wanted to put something in your stomach. Yeah. Yep. It's working out though. It's good, y'all. It's all good. Yeah. Where am I fighting this one? Yeah, eventually get there. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can't do this. Well, you did it once before, so. Mm -hmm. And you quit telling me your knees hurting and all that, so. And on my back. Arthritis. All that, guys, was gone. And I know it. But again, when my mom passed away, I just fell off, you know. Shit got hard. But when I do get to or near my goal weight or to my goal weight, I will be um, doing regular foods, but keto, if that makes sense. I'll be in maintenance. But one day if we want to do a, 
a challenge or whatever. I can do a challenge and then just fast the next day. There you go. Yeah, that should look like a little piece of dough. Yeah. It's like a thin crispy. You know, I apologize for the sniffling. Oh, yeah. I know I sound bad. Oh, this is so still good. Mm. Oh, can it contain sugar or something? They're not, you're gonna have a few. You just gotta be. Watch how you. Mm -hmm. You can actually have anything. Pretty much you want. Yeah. It just has to fit into your, your uh, carbs that day. Cause you used to say something about above ground, below ground, what you can eat. Yeah, most yeah. above ground. Good kill. You know, anything that's below ground, like potatoes. Oh, okay. It's what? not considered to be um, good kill. Yeah. Calves mm. below ground, yeah. Confuse myself, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so good. But I do, I do eat a few carrots. I love celery. Mm. Gonna get some this morning, but we didn't feel like stopping on the way home. We were sick. <clears throat> I'm not a doctor, them, but a lot of I think is how, how you each individual person body process food. I know that ain't the scientific thing, but your body stores sugar. But Some people. people burn that sugar a lot quicker so partly what you're saying is true oh. but without doing anything yes for someone like me i have thyroid problems i take thyroid medication um, my mom had hers completely removed i probably should have mine removed but i just haven't went back and had it checked because because but mine it, it won't burn its own you know so Whatever I keep putting in there, it just keeps. Imagine a bunch of little water balloons just piling up all over. Little big water balloons, clear water balloons. And they just pile up until they just start moving out, 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 out. What keto does when you're in ketosis, and I'm no expert, so you keto Nazi police officers don't come for me. Don't come for me. This is just what I've looked up and I've studied my opinion and I've read and I've seen videos but when you quit doing eating sugar your body has to burn that and so it starts popping these all these little balloons Ooh. that you've had it starts eating at that and so you start getting smaller you like how I keep you <laughs> and you'll get smaller so it's like a let's imagine a million little balloons in your stomach and your body. Imagine how big that would be. And then they start eating themselves, taking it down. And that's why you quit putting sugar and carbs into your body. So it starts eating its own. Yeah. I'm gonna have so many keto police on my timeline. You said it wrong. You're giving false information. That's my opinion. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good, though. but I will take any and every criticism, whatever you want to leave me, teach me, help me learn. I'll take it. <clears throat> well, I also read. I said, I'm not no expert, no claim to be, no want to be. But I also read. Did you stayed in Hilton. No, it ain't because I stayed in Hilton. <laughs> Oh, it's holiday Inn anyway. Oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, try to be funny and she didn't get the joke right. But it's Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Well, anyway, <laughs> but I did save a lot of my insurance by switching to Geico. You are so stupid. Well, anyway, um, what I was going to say is, I read on this report that every diet 
a guy that worked for me might not work for mm -hmm. you. So, mm. I haven't even said that. Renee can't do my sister. Yeah, she can't do keto. It doesn't work for her. Um, I mean, I didn't know people who tried all types of diets and don't lose weight. And it could be some medical thing they might need. What do you mean? How many diets have I tried? Before I started keto, four and a half, five, well, six years ago. Nothing worked because my thyroids were messed up. And no matter how much I went to the, the gym, no matter how much I quit eating, um, if I just ate salads, if I ate... Well, quit eating ain't never a healthy choice, either. But I did. I'm just saying. I did all no. the fads growing up. I did all the fads. I went vegetarian. But then you get moody and stuff like that. Yeah. But I did all of them. Yeah. The quick saying because you know from experience. But anyway. I want to be out of the first week. But my mood, yeah. <laughs> hey. 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 So, I guess. I just know people get moody. <laughs> But I have tried so all those diets in between. I've tried so many diets, and I may lose five to ten pounds. Uh, see, that's another thing I was gonna say, not to cut you off. Okay. A lot of times when you do the diet, you don't get the results you want immediately. You tend to get frustrated. And I don't with with um, keto though. I don't because I feel healthier. Even though I'm frustrated to do that little keto flu, I just went through the keto flu on top of I think I had the flu. I don't care what he said. Um, and y'all, it was horrible. Um, and I feel a little bit better. That's why you're getting the video today. But um, back to what you were saying. I've tried all the other the little fad diets. And you'll lose a little bit and then you'll weigh and you'll gain it back. With keto for, about, what was it, four and a half years ago? I lost, what was it, 60, 80 pounds? And kept it off. To, to moderation. I mean, it, I'd seen you go up. And then I'd go back down. I'd eat normal food, and then I would catch myself, and I'd go back down. But it's, it's, when my mom passed, um, I just didn't care. You know, we had a lot of things going on in our life at that time. Yeah. We were moving out here at the lake. There was a lot of things going on with some personal issues that we had going on with some, you know, things mom didn't have set aside right. So it was just stressful. And I didn't realize it, but I guess I am a stress eater. Yeah. Um. But when I'm really depressed or really, really sad, I don't eat. But when I'm just stressed, I do. I will. I tend to eat. But let something major happen and I, I, I do. I stop eating. But this is just my opinion. Since I live with you, I give oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> A lot of just, I think, bad eating, eating habits come from I didn't me. know we were going to do a counseling session. But go ahead. This ain't a counseling session. <laughs> we're talking to the audience. Is that... I can just get up and just eat non-stop all day. It really hard don't gain no weight. None. And so a lot of the time, I would go up there and eat something, and you be want to, you know you shouldn't, <laughs> but I'm eating it, so you say, well, hell, you eating it, I'll be eating something. Like his favorite thing to cook is brownies, cookies. And they don't go nowhere. They go in and they go out. <laughs> <laughs> he don't go out with me. But you're right. You're definitely right. And he can handle it. No. Um, um, like I say, I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to be helpful. I'm try not to. No, I need you to just do come, you. Not come eat in her face, but I'm still hard to say. I don't really gain weight. So. Um, you just do you. I got to. This is a battle I got to fight. And everybody says it's a lifestyle to change to keto. Oh, see, that's another thing I was going to say. It, it really is. And then keto is not a diet. It's just a way of eating. It really is. Because you're really not dieting. You just eat different. And it really is. But now, with me having this YouTube channel, I'm not being disillusional. Did I say that right? Delusional? You didn't say that while ago, but I know what you meant. <laughs> I'm not being disillusional. Delusional. Oh, my God. I'm going to quit trying to say it. But. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, you're gonna see I got a piece of my finger now. <laughs> I don't know if you did something that didn't look right. Anyway, 
I know doing having a channel, I'm going to go back after I lose and get to where I want to be, maybe from a year from now, maybe five, six months from now. I know I'm going to go back and I'm going to eat, you know, and do challenges and eat food. I already talked on this a while ago, but eat food that is not considered to be keto. This is w months away. But you have to know what you're doing and you have to know yourself because what I'll do, let's say we had a Big Mac today or whatever. We didn't even eat big, big Macs. <laughs> let's say we had a Whopper and we ate it. Tomorrow, I would go so hard and probably would have water and maybe an egg and bacon and fast until the next keto. And I know how to do it. I know how to do this. I just wasn't doing it. That's what my plans are. So y'all don't be like, see me in six, seven well, months. Don't that mess up your diet when you have to start it all back over with the sugar and stuff? It'll kick you out of keto yeah. ketosis, but some over. people it won't. Some people it doesn't. Me, most of the time, I don't get kicked out. Um, I feel sluggish. I, I won't feel the greatest. But, and if you get kicked out, you just start right back over. Um, this lady, I just I started following her. Um, your next keto meal, that's her little catchphrase. Gosh, I can't. Donna, I can't even. Oh, I can't even think of her, her name. I'm so sorry. But, anyways, I've been watching her on keto anyway. So, point being, if y'all see me in a few months and I'm pigging out, oh, she fell off. No, I'm just comfortable, more comfortable where I want to be. And I'm going to eat that day. And the next day, it's like cramming for an exam. I'm going to go hard. So, yeah. And my personal opinion on that is, I think you need to go. When you say when you get comfortable, you need to go more than comfortable. Where if you do pig out and you have a little slight back, then you back into that comfort gain spot. Not much? In one meal? You won't gain, but the way your body stores it. Not if I'm on keto, no. Uh, not if I'm, I'm doing like Like I said, I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm not either, guys. Um, are you done? <coughs> I'm done. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys. I think we're done. I thank y'all for... Uh, hold up. How's it? Yeah. Check it all in my teeth. Oh, okay. I was trying to smile. I was like, mm, mm, mm. I don't think they can see it. I felt it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to do I'm bare leg. You hold it on my leg, but you hold not jump it on your leg. I wonder why you brought it on the way on to this side. <laughs> Sherry is scary. Excuse me. Okay, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and close it out. But if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We appreciate it, y'all. We're so close to getting our watch hours. I usually don't talk about this on my videos, but we're really close. Um, almost halfway there, over halfway there. And we could really, really, really use the help. And we appreciate it, guys. If not, <coughs> if this isn't our year to get there, then I'm not giving up. And we're going to continue to keep doing it. And that's the thing. You can't give up. No, you got to keep the fight it. alive. Got to do it. So... You guys, we love you. We appreciate y'all. And we will see you next time with another Keto Mook Bag. Peace. Peace out.